Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Sully Pons and welcome back to Let's Play Newer Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo Wii. Today, I'm going to be taking on World E, Bamard Cliffs, one of the final worlds of this game. And just so you guys are all aware, I've never actually played this world before, so this is all going to be a brand new experience for me. As you can see, the world looks really, really small. I'm not really sure if there's an extension to it once we beat the first three levels or not. But we're going to be jumping straight into level one with an ice flower because I do not want to play this level as Baby Mario. Um, I'm actually kind of intrigued to see what the item for this level is. Uh, let's hit that. Ooh, it's a propeller suit. Propeller suits are one of my all-time favorite Mario power-ups. And sadly, they only made uh, their debut in one Mario game, which was New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I'm pretty sure it wasn't in New Super Mario Bros. U because you guys had, or we had the acorn suit. And I think it would be stupid for them to have put it in the, in the Wii U version um, because... I mean, they're pretty much the same thing, but this level is very interesting. I mean, you got b bombs falling from the sky, and I guess it kind of makes sense because the world is called Bamard Cliffs, so, or Cliff, I don't know if it's Cliffs with an S or Cliff, just singular, but whatever it is, there's bombs in this world, and I guess that's the theme of this world here, bombs, and man, I just, this is scary, man, I don't want to jump. I really don't want to jump because I feel like if I jump, I'm just going to collide with a bomb in the air. And I don't want that. Freaking bombs, man. I've had so much trouble with these guys in the past. Uh, but I, but you got to love them, man. You got to love these bombs. Bombs or bomb? Oh, God. See, the bombs didn't actually hurt me. It was the bullet bill. That's my luck right there. And oh, geez. Wait, there's a star guy. No. Okay. Okay. Well, see, if I had played this, I probably would have knew what to do, would have grabbed a bomb and, and waited there for the star coin, but I guess it is what it is. It's always better to play games blind like this because, you know, you get to have your first reaction, and it's like, whoa! But yeah, ooh, more bombs falling from- uh-oh! Ah, this is the power round, this is my power round now! Okay, <laughs> I made it out of that one somehow. Not really sure how, but I, I did it, I did it. Uh-oh. Mm. All right, oh, I wanted to hit it with the uh, Koopa shell, but that bullet bill, man, where are these bullet bills going? Like, you think the bullet bills run out of juice or just gas or whatever it is that's just coming out of their their behinds? You think they just, like, fall and die? Oh, yeah, suck on that bullet bill. I think these, oh, man, bombs have a really short lifespan. It's like, as soon as you touch them, they instantly, like, blow up, and then they're dead forever. That's so sad, man. That is so sad in the life of bombs. Ba bombs. All right, we got the third star coin, which is cool, Leo. Again, I'm not looking to beat this 100% because that's not what I do when I play a game blind. I'm just gonna go in it, just head first and and see how what happens. But yeah, we beat the first level. Uh, again, like I said, I'm not really sure how long this world's gonna be because I've never played it, nor have I watched anyone play this world. So. This is all a brand new experience for me, but gosh, that was two, three levels. That'd be really short if it were three levels, but you can't really complain because the newer team put out so many levels in this game that like, I should even be grateful there's even a world E. Um, but yeah, I like the atmosphere of this level. We're like in like this, these like out, like we're in caves, but we're not really in a cave. Like it's just so nice. Oh, what is that? Oh God, we got a, a bomb, bro. Up a bomb, bro. I gotta just avoid him. Oh, there's a. Sh I could get that with a Koopa, but you know. Oh, uh oh. You know, I'm just gonna avoid these guys. I'm not even gonna get in the way of trouble. It's like if you guys want that area, by all means, take it. It's yours. I'm not gonna get involved with that. All right. Ugh. Awesome. Ooh yeah. Triple jump. Best thing to do in this game. Triple jumps. Ah, and there it is, the trusty checkpoint, my favorite scene ever. It's like when you see a checkpoint, you get this sign of, or this, just this, uh, feeling of relief. Uh-oh. All right, let me go back. I think there's a fire flower in one of these, maybe. Nope, not that one. Yes, this one. Take my fire flower away, I'll just get a new one, sir. Oh, that one, that star coin looks like it's tricky to get. You have to, like, bounce on a Koopa to get it. Or if you had a propeller suit, you could just use that, but, you know... 
I have neither, and I don't want to risk it bouncing on a Koopa because, you know, I'll probably end up falling and failing and crying because that's just how it is when I record and play at the same time. It just never works out for me. No matter how hard I try, I just always end up doing bad, and it's not good. Oh, what the heck? Why did you kill yourself, Bomb? That Bomb just killed itself. I don't really know why, but maybe it felt like it wasn't worthy enough to live. That's really sad, man. It's really sad. Anyways, moving on to what may be the final level of World E. I'm not really sure if there's an extension to this or not, but this could be the final level of World E. I'm not really sure. But it's called Bomb Assault Gorge. Ooh. Here we go. E-3. I'm pretty sure we're going to have some more bomb bros because a little thumbnail had some bomb bros. And... Uh-oh. Look at him. Right off the bat. Buddy. Oh, dude. That was awesome. It, like, landed in my hands. Ooh, look at these big ones. Look at these big bob -ombs. Ugh. Yeah, that's that's what I needed to do to get that star coin. All right. So now I know how to get first star coin in E-3. Oh, God. All right. I got to I gotta haul. Ah. Got to keep my no death streak alive still. Got to keep it going. I can't. I can't. I can't die yet now. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Oh, jeez. Okay, you wanna fall, bro? Oh, God. We, like, touch tips a little bit. Man, that was so close. Alright, what is this? Ugh, what is in here? Come on! It's a hammer. Alright, hammer suit. Beautiful. Nothing nothing in that pipe can't go in there. So I guess I'll just go this way. Is that a war pipe? Yep, it's a war pipe that lets out bombs. No way, it's a war pipe that I could probably go in. But it's too late for me. I'm going with the flow. Going with the flow. Uh... Oh, Wee! all right, Wee! awesome. Whoa, jeez, man. How am I supposed to get that one? Am I supposed to grab a bomb and get the star coin? That actually works. You get bombs with or star coins with bombs, and there it is, guys. The flagpole. So now the moment of truth. We'll find out whether or not there's an extension to this world or if that was it for World D. E. Because if that's the case, then we are pretty much done with this game. We All we need to do is just World 9 and then that's it. That is it pretty much. Oh, there actually is an extension. Wait, no, there isn't. You've gotten every blank exit in Bombard Cliff. Wow, okay. So I guess that was it for this world. It was, in fact, the shortest world there was in the game. But uh, that's not it for our adventure. We still have one last thing that we need to do. And as you guys guessed it, it's World 9. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Remember, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And uh, check out the newer team website down in the description of the city if you want to play this hack for yourselves. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in World 9. Goodbye.